Good morning, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans. It is Lori, and I am here to do a new, uh, your daily general reading for you. Whatever comes out, comes out. Let's go ahead and usher in some positive energy here. We can also roll the zodiac die to see what signs you might be dealing with. And you have Pisces, Libra, whoop, whoop, repping yourself again. Libra in the house. Capricorn, Taurus, Leo, and Sagittarius. All right. Let's go ahead and see what your overall energy is here. What's going on with you? I'm going to do a Celtic cross. Temperance. Okay. So that's the heart of the matter right there. Trying to stay level-headed, balanced, harmonious, whole, um, even keel. Let's see what the challenge or obstacle is. What's crossing this energy? Queen of Wands, wanting to take um oh wanting to take the lead, but maybe being stuck in a supporting role. Wanting to be recognized for what you bring to the to the table, what you offer. This is okay, this is interesting. Um Let's go delve a little deeper in here and see what's going on. What do you aspire to? Chariot, you're looking for a change. Absolutely. You're looking for something different here. Let's see if I can get these cards all in here for you. I've changed my setup, so everything's a little bit different. All right, so you, you're aspiring to um, make a major change here. I do feel like you are playing second fiddle to somebody else. And you're really ready to be recognized for your talents, your skills. And you've been trying to be very balanced, harmonious, and peaceful in this situation. I am actually looking at this face where she's got one eye open and one eye closed. And it's almost like she's saying, wink, wink, I'm not going to do this for much longer. I can only stand here. I, I can stand here as long as I need to, but I'm not going to do it forever. And that's you. You're ready to take charge ready to go in a different direction ready to step out into the light is what i'm hearing all right let's go ahead and see what the base of the problem is what's the what is causing this to happen the five of cups regrets i think you're worried that you'll end up with a lot of regrets if you move forward if you change course i think you're afraid you're going to lose whoever you're playing second fiddle to that's sad. That's really kind of sad because if you shouldn't be in competition with somebody that you're afraid of losing. They should not be in competition with you. There's healthy competition where you're both striving for the same thing and you're trying to see who can do it quicker maybe or, you know, do something like that. But when you have your own thing that you're trying to do and your other person is interfering with you succeeding at that which is what i feel like is happening here that's not competition that's taking that's jealousy that's somebody else being jealous of what you are doing and tearing you down keeping you from succeeding that's not love i don't care what anyone says that's not comp that type of competition is not love okay that's not good it's not healthy all right Let's go ahead and see what your immediate future is holding for you. Seven of Pentacles. You're going to take stock of this situation. You're really going to look at it hard. You're going to say, what have I put into this? What have I grown? What should I keep? What's mine? What's theirs? And I do see that for the first time here. We have pentacles and we have the grapes. And she's looking at the grapes saying, you know what? I want the abundance. I don't care about the money. And this, I don't care if you're male or female. This is about the energy of the person in the card saying, you know what? I'm looking for the abundance. The money is one thing, but that happiness, the joy, the doing my thing that makes me feel passionate and excited about life. That's important to you as a Libra, okay? And you will be taking stock of this and, and trying to decide for yourself what you want to keep and what you don't, how you can move forward. All right, let's see what some past influences are here. 
And yes, I realize I'm laying this out a little bit different. I am attempt. See, I can't get all the cards in here. I just can't get them all in here. All right, let's go ahead and see what's um, what the past influences are here. And yeah, my cards are out of order too. So we have one, two, if you're looking for traditional Celtic cross, three, four, five, and then we'll do six here, which is your past influences. The Eight of Pentacles, all the hard work that you have put in. Being recognized, see, you, you know that you can be successful here and that you have been recognized in the past and you don't want to play second fiddle to anybody anymore. You're done with this energy. All right. Yep. All right. How do you view yourself right now? What's going on in your head? Ace of Pentacles. You're ready for a fresh start. You are ready to take control of this, but you're also ready to control, uh, um, not control the situation, take control and co-create with spirit. Okay. Beautiful energy here. You are ready for a new day to dawn. You are ready to get started. You're excited. You're passionate. All right. Let's go ahead and see what's happening in your environment. What, you know, what's happening around you? Knight of Wands. I'm getting some sort of inconsistent energy here. I'm going to put two and two. Okay. So this is uh, you in your environment here. And this is how you view yourself. So there's some sort of inconsistency, people charging in. I'm feeling like with this Knight of Wands, this is, um, you may want to rush in. I'm hearing to save something. But you, something that's not consistent, somebody that's not being cons consistent or a situation that is not consistent. And I, that's all I keep getting is not consistent. I'm hearing it over and over and over again in my head. Um, you want to rush in. Spirit, I, I'm going to see what uh, else Spirit has to say about this, but I'm hearing right now that would not be advised. All right, let's go ahead and see what your hopes and fears are around this situation okay let's see what your hopes and your fears are four of pentacles okay so your hopes are to stabilize things make things more secure put some money aside maybe um yeah just kind of sitting still protecting yourself your heart your your health your money just holding back Looking for stability is the main thing. Just looking to find some sort of stability, balance, harmony here. Now, your fear is just the opposite, that you won't be able to hold on to everything that you have made, that you have created, that you've worked so hard for. Again, I feel like you are worried that you're giving up um, a person that you're involved with, but also here, this is really coming through right now, your biggest fear is losing this thing that you love to do permanently. That really, really scares you. I can understand. I mean, that's deep. That is really deep. You have, you're have you trying to decide between staying with a person that you love and giving up the thing that you love the most in the world. Spirit is saying, don't rush into anything right now. We're going to see what the outcome is here. We're going to put this up here. This will be your outcome here. What's a probable outcome if you were to proceed? And, well, what's the probable outcome no matter what here, okay? I've got the whole deck upside down. Page of Wands. It looks like you might have a fresh start here. You may be um, starting all over again, packing your bags and heading out. Um, does not mean that you have to leave a person completely it means you're ready to start off on a new road a new endeavor a new challenge and you're not going to take a lot with you you're just going to go you're going to go after it i do see luck is on your side okay 
intuition is trying to tell you here to go down this path because in the in this deck of cards the cats are the familiars they're like your trusted intuition and you're kind of wanting to go that way or down this road that's in front of you but your intuition is kind of telling you and luck is saying if you go down this path it'd be better for you so let's see if we can find out a little bit more i am going to uh clarify this reading okay I will say that we have a lot of depth of emotions, a lot of um, deep feelings here. Well, that was interesting. These cards are sitting where they should not be. So you have an ending to something, and Spirit is telling me this is your outcome here, okay? You're putting an end to something, you are going to cut a cord. Now, this is not going to be everyone. This is... The indecisiveness, okay? And a lot of you don't know. You don't know which way you're going to go until you get to that road, until you get to that bridge. You're not sure exactly what direction you're going to take here, okay? Some of you are definitely going to cut the cord. You're going to end either or, okay? But it looks to me like um, you're going to go for your what you want, Okay, it's been a long time coming. This this Knight of Wands here, or Knight of Pentacles, I'm sorry, he has tools. So you're ready to get to work. You're ready to go after what it is you want. You're going to pursue it, okay? And then you have this Nine of Pentacles, which is you being independent, able to stand on your own two feet, own your own income, and notice that instead of grapes this time, you have apples, but you still have pentacles. So the work has been put in here, but now you're harvesting your own. This is not something that you've grown with somebody else. This is you growing it on your own. So I do see some of you leaving this person, job, situation, whatever it is to go off on your own. This could absolutely be about you starting your own business. Because no matter what you do, I feel like you may be in a partnership with somebody they're constantly comp competing with you um, and challenging you and you can't accomplish what you're trying to do within this situation, within this environment. All right, I have brand new Oracle um, cards that actually go with this deck. So this is the Wisdom of the Everyday Witch Oracle deck. And I am going to draw you a couple of cards from here and see what more spirit wants to say about this message here. So you do, um, obviously you want to change direction. You have a lot of fears, a lot of worries about losing a person. And oh, that would make perfect sense if this is like a partnership or a friendship where you're both doing something to make money together. And uh, I'm even getting this as a marriage. Okay, like a long-term relationship, and you shouldn't be competing with each other. Anyways, um, you are worried about le having to leave this person behind or situation, but you are going to probably choose to do so. You have hibernation and regeneration, and I'm getting four of swords energy from this. So taking a step back, relaxing, letting go of what's happened. Okay, let's see what the book says about hibernation and relaxation this is brand new to me so i am going to read this to you from the book and i don't know how to look these things up yet but it happens to be the second card in the deck 23 which is a five which is about change okay so this card which this artwork i think is just beautiful hibernation and regeneration there's a quote here that says sometimes you just need to pull back from the world for a while rest regroup recharge so you can return stronger and more capable of dealing with whatever awaits you outside your cave. It doesn't tell me who said this. So I'm assuming it was the author of this book, which is Deborah Blake. Deborah Blake, I think. All right. The divination meaning of this card is modern life is full of distractions. Make sure you remember to take time to tune into the earth, no matter what else is going on around you. This card is trying to remind you to stay in touch with what is truly important, both spiritually and practically, especially those things that support the rest of your efforts. 
Somebody's letting their dog run around my yard. And of course, it's taking a dump. Thank you, stranger, whoever you may be. Magic. Sit comfortably and stand in front of your altar holding on to a crystal or stone of your choice. Light a candle and concentrate on the stone, sending your awareness deep inside. Try to connect with the energy of the stone. Does it feel warm, strong, or comforting? Does this stone have something to offer you that some other stone might not? Does it feel as though it could boost your magical work for prosperity, healing, peace, and other practical goals? All right. Um, I just read you the whole wrong thing. Yeah, I did. <laughs> Let's try this again. I got distracted. Hibernation and re rege rejuner regeneration. Um, okay, so take a nap, meditate, or simply curl up someplace with a quiet good book. Take a few minutes to pet a cat or play with a dog. Is that not funny that a dog was just let loose in my yard? Actually, two of them were. Um, okay, give yourself a break from pushing forward at full speed. Don't go rushing in, okay? And don't feel guilty about taking that break. The world is a busy and hectic place, and we all need downtime to give our spirit a little space for its important work behind the scenes. All right, so trust in spirit to guide you. Also, yeah, don't go rushing in here. Make Really think about what it is. I mean, you've got the seven of pentacles here somewhere, or you did have it right here. Okay, so think about this. I, I feel for a lot of you, you are going to end this relationship that's happening here. Some of you will walk away from your dreams, which is really sad, really sad. Okay, let's get you some other oracle messages here. And since we're talking about dream, it looks like Spirit wants to, yep, dreamscape oracle message. Let's see what else is going on here. Two more shuffles. The path. Beautiful message there. We're going to get you one more spirit is saying. And memory. Okay. So let's go ahead and see what is happening here with path. Do, 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 do. 37, which is a 10, putting a burden down. Paths are birthed by treading across the same area of land over days, months, or years. Sometimes the way is made by a single individual, yourself. Sometimes large groups of people will gr dig grooves into the landscape. Okay, it, it's about how deep the memories go and you've got the memory here okay <clears throat> your spiritual path is unique to your journey it has many curves peaks and valleys it takes repetition to create a well-worn track which becomes a habit okay when we look back from where we came from we can see how the pattern got made but we can't necessarily when we're in the middle of it okay if the path card visited you today which it has you may want to take a look at where you are going. Is it still where you want to go? Make any corrections in the course now. I mean, come on, right next to the chariot card. So the meaning of this card is go ahead, keep moving forward. Make any adjustments based on your desires. There was the key part of that message right there. All right, let's see what memory says here for you. 27, so that's about um, releasing, releasing and letting go. Memory is a very delicate thing. It weighs as much as a feather and is just as fragile. Wave that feather one way and the glimmer of the moment it captured appears as accurately as if it just happened. Dance that feather in a different direction and watch the memory fade or change, the details growing dim and dull. Flames rise from a golden bowl in this card. 
They burn, distorting anything that they touch, the heat warping the surface. Moments affected by the flame will bend and buckle, turning into something less than they actually were. Details will fade, the mind fearful of holding on to what once was true. Hold on to the truth by placing it into service to the future. So the meaning of this card is to be mindful of the memories that you desire to keep. Let your memories drive your imagination to new heights. So, I'm, I also heard with that message, remember why you were passionate about this desire? Remember why you got involved with this person to begin with? And if those, if okay, so if you're looking at why you're passionate about this thing, does it still hold true? And if, when you look at your person, and why you got involved with them, or the situation, job, career, whatever it is, does your why still hold true? If you need to change directions, okay, that's what you need to do. And you may need to change directions in both circumstances. It's going to be completely up to your own personal situation. All right, let's go ahead and get you an enchanted map oracle message here. 21, 21 on the clock. And that's the timer. That's not the time. That's the amount of time that this reading has taken. You've got 28. Movement. Definitely changing direction here. Okay. We're going to get one more of these. One more enchanted map oracle message here. I thought I saw a card facing the wrong way, but I didn't. So we've got 17 ghost land. All right, interesting. Opened right up to 28. You are in a time of positive forward motion. This is the time for positive momentum as you come out of a period of restriction. Oh my gosh. You are in a stage of new adventure and discovery. You may feel compelled to take a trip, change your hair, or move your home or business, or take charge of your desires. No matter what is happening, you cannot stay where you are anymore. You feel compelled to move forward. That's what the chariot energy is. No matter what your question is at this time, okay, should I stay with this person? Should I leave them? Should, whatever your question is, you will see your dreams take form and doors previously shut will begin to open as if by magic oh my goodness movement is also a state of mind the fog lifts and you now know the actions that you need to take this is not the time for fear let it go and go ahead and move forward and look we've got ghost lands fear being left out in the cold oh this is beautiful you can learn from the past and imagine a beautiful future, but you have to be here, live in the here and the now. You can't be anywhere else because you, the past is gone. It's gone. You can't change it. Yes, you can dream about the future, but you can't do anything about the future until you're right here, right now, focusing on what you want, your desires. Whenever you set your sights too far ahead, you run the risk of losing your footing because rarely do the present and future match up exactly on the enchanted map that is your life story. The future has no substance right now. It is a place that has no ground as of yet. You can't live there, yet you can take measured steps toward a goal or a dream. These st steps are the important things to focus on right now. The same goes for nostalgia. You can look into the past wistfully and remember beautiful moments and have memories of everything, or you can revisit lessons that were learned from the past. However, you can't live there, nor can you go back and change what was. Yesterday is gone forever. Live fully in the present moment. The now is the most powerful place to put your attention. Its magic reaches out in every direction further than your heart and your soul can see. I can't, Spirit is just trying to tell you to follow your dream here, okay? Now, your desires are going to be based on your desires, what you personally want. 
Spirit wants to give you one more message here. And it is a spirit animal message. We will roll the uh, number die to get you three yes or no answers. So if you are new here, welcome, welcome. I hope you find something that resonates and that you come back in the future. With the number die, I roll it three times to get you three yes or no answers. One through five is a no answer for me. Six through 12 is a yes answer, giving you one more chance for a yes. However, if you feel like you want to reverse those numbers, please feel free to do so. We all have free will. If you are a returning viewer, you thought I was going to forget about you, didn't you? No, I can never forget about you guys because you are my family, you're my tribe, you're my community, and I love you for all the love, support, and everything you do for me and this channel. You guys are awesome, and I love you to pieces. All right, so while I'm still waiting, oh, there it is, whoop, there it is. All right, let's go ahead and see what we've got here. We have, you have drawn the sea turtle protection. You are master of finding life's flow. You are in harmony with the rhythm and your path unfolds easily. You know how to per persevere and you succeed. You have everything you need to be protected and happy. Go for your dreams is what I'm hearing there. Horse, freedom, your heart is pure and free. A greater purpose is calling to you. You have unlimited reserves of stamina and of strength. You know how to follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. Beautiful. If you are interested in a personal reading from me, please um, email me. I'll send you prices and um, how it works. Okay. All right. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, I would invite you to do so. We have an awesome community and we would love, 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 love to have you become an awesome part of it. Okay. So if you decide to subscribe, awesome. Make sure that you uh, consider clicking that little bell icon because it will tell you when all three messages come out every day for my lovely, lovely Libra or anybody with Libra in their chart whatsoever or anybody cross-watching for a Libra that they are involved in. All right. Thank you all for being here. Love you to pieces. Let's find your what your soul wants you to know. Peace. You breathe deeply knowing that everything is well in your universe. And that's where Spirit told me to put that card right there for you. Nice, peaceful energy. You, I mean, that is, I'm feeling so peaceful right now. All right, so this says, the card meaning is, breathe and breathe again deeply and do that often. Everything is flowing exactly as it is meant to be, smoothly and effortless, effortlessly, because everything is in perfect harmony right now. Your soul wants you to know that true peace is not static nor boring. It's full of grace, enthusiasm, and vitality. Tranquility is the awareness that everything is unfolding according to divine planning. Serenity isn't something that you have to attain, work at, or search for. It's already dwelling within you. To experience this tranquility and peace, spend some time in nature. Take time to listen to the messages of your soul. Take a nap. Just refresh yourself so that you can hear the messages of your soul. Peace will transcend fear and the illusion of separation, and it connects you intimately with your higher power. Okay? Beautiful message for you guys. Let's get you three yes or no answers here. Answer number one, yes or no, is a one that is a no answer. Do not go anywhere near that. You've got three, five, and nine. It's odd. Okay, whatever it is, there's something off about what you're asking about. Answer number two is a six. That is a low-end yes answer. You also have five, one, whoops, five, one, four, two, and three. 
It's interesting because what you have here is one, two, three, four, five, six. You're not going like directly in the right direction. You're on the right path, but you're doing this dance forward, backward, forward, backward, forward, backward. If you're not careful, it will end up being something that is gone for good. Okay. Answer number three. A one again, that is a no. Wow, absolutely not. One, and then you have two, three, and seven. All right, my lovely, lovely Libras, until our energy cross again, have a fantastic day. I love you.